What's up guys? Today is a different kind of video. I just wanted to kind of get this off my chest, sit down and talk to you guys for a little bit because I haven't done that in a while and especially not on this channel. But this has kind of been on my mind for some time now. I just think it's a little ironic how social media is supposed to be kind of like the anti-mainstream media in that it's supposed to be super authentic or at least originally started out that way. It's supposed to be a place where we can get images that we don't get from mainstream media. People can tell their true stories and there's more representation, there's more opportunity for individuality and basically this is supposed to be everything that the mainstream media isn't. However, over the years we've all noticed that social media has become more now like mainstream media in that people are kind of concocting their own stories or these false realities, photoshopping themselves, being something that they're not, changing their body, and it's not super authentic anymore where it used to be. They're still kind of selling social media as that place where you can find people who are like you and you actually can do that, but I just noticed that now more and more it's just more of a false reality, I guess, going on. And I, that's probably more in like the beauty fashion kind of world. I think probably in like comedy or photography or cooking, that's not really like the, the case, but you know, I kind of am more in the beauty and fashion type of world, so I see that a lot more. I just kind of wanted to point out the irony in that. A lot of us know that social media can be kind of a fake place, and I actually do edit some of my photos too. I don't like change my face or my body or anything like that, but if I'm showing a hairstyle, I might enhance it a little bit to show the definition, or if I have like a pimple on my face, I might get rid of the pimple or just brighten the photo to make it look prettier. And if I scroll back in my timeline from when Instagram first started or back in the day, the photos were super blurry and obviously this has to do with camera quality too, but it was a lot more authentic. We were all showing kind of like our dinners and like just hanging around the house and that kind of thing. And I actually kind of really like those days. Social media accounts that just show like absolute perfection. I never follow those accounts because number one, they used to make me feel really bad about myself. and so. I'm obviously not gonna put myself through that anymore, but it also doesn't give me anything from that person. When I follow somebody on social media, it's because I wanna know what they're like. I wanna know what their day is like. I really love like professional photos. I really love made up photos. I think that those are so much fun. They're really nice to look at. I like to post them online too, but I just think that there's like a balance where showing that, but also showing how you really are would be really nice. Mainstream media, people were calling it out like these magazines for showing photoshopped images or you know getting rid of their natural attributes and kind of like enhancing their butt, elongating their legs, getting rid of the cellulite and that kind of thing. And now they're doing it themselves and people like this, people watch this and I'm just really confused. Do we want authenticity or do we not want authenticity? But then on the other hand, it's kind of like that's a part of the game. I actually did a little bit of experimenting where I decided to post a couple of photos that weren't super pretty and they definitely got less likes than the photos where I brightened the photo up and made it look pretty and made sure that my outfit and my makeup and my hair was like on fleek and perfect. It sucks that the authentic pictures don't get as much love as these kind of manufactured photos do. Number one, why is that? Number two, how can we as a collective say that social media has become fake and has become contrived and constructed if we only support photos that are fake and constructed. And I just really wanna know what you guys think. Even if some of those photos were grainy or blurry or kind of just like not perfect, even if they don't get a lot of likes, I still wanna post them because that's like a part of who I am. I feel like it gives my page more of my soul and anybody who comes to my page can kind of see who I am and see how I actually live or like how I actually look and not just pretty photos of hair, or pretty photos of makeup or like a perfect outfit is shot in a perfect scenery with a perfect camera angle and all that kind of stuff. I personally like to go to people's pages and see the reality of who they are talking in circles now. <laughs> I do think that it's irresponsible for especially women to just put out perfect photos all the time or do you think that they kind of have to because it's part of the game and in order to elevate your page and your brand and all that you have to kind of make everything super super professional and perfect and if so what does that say about us where we're all shaming mainstream media for being perfect all the time and then when we have the chance to be authentic we choose to be fake and not be authentic and not show who we really are in return for likes or follows. 
that's just something that's really interesting to me. And also I want to know, um, what kind of pages do you guys follow? Like, do you follow pages where it's like all perfect inspiration, where it's like the perfect theme? Do you follow those kind of pages? Like, how does that make you feel about yourself? Does it inspire you? Or do you avoid those pages and just kind of stick with pages that are more relatable? Just let me know your thoughts below. If you guys like this kind of video, where I'm just kind of sitting down and talking to you. Let me know. I'm wanting to post more videos to this page. So you guys can let me know if you like it or not with a thumbs up comments obviously you can subscribe for more videos thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for hearing me out i really look forward to hearing what you guys have to say and i will join you guys in the conversation in the comments below and that's it i guess i'll see you in the next one